Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on perceptual mapping. Now let's start with what is perceptual mapping? Perceptual mapping or market mapping is a method that uses diagrams and is employed by asset marketers. It tries to display what consumers or potential consumers perceive. Example, a phone manufacturer might think that their product is cool with a younger crowd, but young people might not see it that way. Brand positioning is impacted by what a consumer sees and not by what business do. Usually, the position of a firm's brand, product line or product is shown in comparison to their rivals. Perceptual maps are sometimes called market maps. Perceptual maps can have two or more dimensions. They can help in spotting gaps in an industry. Now let's look at an example of a perceptual map template. Perceptual maps are usually found in a two-dimensional chart form. The vertical and horizontal axes display various properties. These are rated from low to high. The map is very direct. It is easy to make and understand. Some of the properties considered are dependability, security, features, size, packaging, performance, quality and cost. The one displayed here talks about two parameters, quality and price. So if you look at the diagram, brand C is high on price and high on quality. Now moving on to the benefits of perceptual mapping. Perceptual mapping lets firms get to know their consumers. The what, how, where, why and who of how they act. If a business is not looked in a good way, studies can show how they can be solved. Perceptual mapping also lets firm understand how customers see rival brands. When used frequently, it can track performance and see changes as they take place. Perceptual mapping can be used to decide the segments of the market. They can show firms in clusters that are different from others for a few primary reasons. It can help in identifying gaps where a product may be launched. Perceptual maps may be used to observe a new launch and its performance in a market. Perceptual mapping might also identify how a bad a setback is in terms of PR. It helps one plan out positioning, branding and marketing strategies. Moving on to limitations of perceptual mapping. Many variables affect perception. The map only employs two variables leaving the others. This can impact the dependability of the outcomes. At times, it is counterproductive to believe that only two variables informed a customer's buying decision. For example, a graph for cell phones might consider price and size but will leave out other things such as durability, performance, etc. There is also a dissonance between a consumer's idea of the firm's offering, what it is actually capable of offering. This can be because of social media's influence, deficiency of knowledge, miscommunication, etc. Information for perceptual maps comes from surveys. These are hard to get hold of. Moving on, how to build a perceptual map? First, decide the required attributes. Let's take the example of selecting a yogurt. Now, these are the variables that consumers consider when picking up yogurt. These are features important for any consumer. It helps them choose between rival products. Next step, carry out a survey. To get sufficient information, one has to create and carry out a survey for people who might buy the product. Making and carrying out a survey is direct and easy. This lets one arrive at the mapping stage quicker. Stage 3. Rate the existing brands in the market. At this stage, one begins to shift through available information. One can focus on what the consumers identified as difference in rival brands. This information is usually qualitative. They come from open-ended queries. It is imperative to use numbered access as a like scale for this purpose. Once you have all the information, now build the perceptual map. Very similar to the template that was shown before. After numbering the brands, one can construct the map. The brands are also plotted likewise. As mentioned before, the x-axis will display the flavor, as you can see in the figure on top, and the y-axis will display the nutritional content. Moving on to the final example of perceptual mapping. In this case of the legendary Steve Jobs at the launch of iPhone. Did you know Steve Jobs displayed the very first iPhone's perceptual map in 2007 for the iPhone launch. Steve Jobs pointed out the gap in the market for the very first iPhone launch in 2007. If you look at the picture, there are two parameters that Steve Jobs focused on. On the x-axis was the ease of use of the product and on the y-axis of how smart the current set of cell phones and smartphones were there during that time. As you can see, iPhone is on the top right corner. That means it is smart as well as easy to use. So that's it, folks. This brings an end to the topic on perceptual mapping. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.